Hello students, today we are going to learn the experiment to determine a resistance of a wire using meter bridge. So we will be connecting a circuit and we are going to determine the resistance of that wire. Okay. So first let us see the circuit diagram. So students as you can see in the diagram this particular wire is the wire of a meter bridge where there is a meter scale below it and it is connected to a jockey via galvanometer. So this G represents galvanometer. Let me complete the diagram because we need a power supply for this circuit. So we are going to make an arrangement for that. So this is our Rio stand which will be connected to point C of a meter bridge. This is point A and this is point B. Okay, so this is our overall circuit diagram of a meter bridge. Now let me show you how to connect the circuit. So let us see. So students here we have an apparatus of a meter bridge experiment where we have to find the resistance of this wire over here okay and we have some connecting wires with us a resistance box of course this is meter bridge rheostat battery okay and this one this particular thing is called as chalky okay so let us connect this circuit as per circuit diagram and then we will check whether this galvanometer can show deflection on both the sides. If it shows a deflection on both the sides, then the basic arrangement of this particular circuit is done. So first we have to connect a battery. The positive of the battery will go to the C terminal, okay, which is over here. So first let us connect the positive terminal of the battery to terminal A which is to right hand side of the meter bridge and to the left hand side there is C terminal over here there is a B terminal so this I have connected positive terminal now what we have to do is we have to connect negative terminal onto one terminal of a rheostat so that I am going to do I am going to connect a negative terminal of a battery to this terminal of a rheostat then the another terminal of rheostat should be connected to C terminal so this terminal is connected to the C terminal of the battery so this terminal of a rheostat is connected to the C terminal of a meter bridge now what we are going to do is we are going to connect the B terminal of a meter bridge to galvanometer and galvanometer will be connected to jockey. So this we are going to keep it over here. Negative terminal of a galvanometer will be connected to jockey okay now what we are going to do we are going to connect this terminal to the B terminal okay so B terminal to galvanometer galvanometer to jockey now what we are going to do only one part is left which is connecting the resistance box so let us connect resistance box
what we are going to do over here is after connection we are going to uh, keep some resistance it can be one ohms also so I have already removed one key so that it will give a resistance of one ohm so as you can see over here now make sure that all the keys are pressed properly so that there is no unknown resistance so one ohm I have removed this is the overall connection of the circuit now let us see how it is going to show the deflection I have connected the circuit now now I will check the deflection over here it is to minus 30 and over here it is to plus 30 as you can see it is getting deflected on both the sides of the galvanometer so this is what we wanted this is a preliminary adjustment now our circuit connection is complete what we are going to do over here is we are going to check a null point now how to check a null point if it is deflecting on both the sides we are going to adjust a jockey in such a way that it shows a zero deflection somewhere over here it is showing a zero deflection so i am going to adjust in such a way that it shows me zero deflection so at this point it is showing zero deflection it is from 1 to 53 so 53 is the null point okay so 100 minus 53 will give you 47 so 47 centimeter on one side and 53 on another side now this we are going to make use in the observation table so left hand side and right hand side both the readings we have to note okay so that will give me p and q and then resistance we already know 1 ohms unknown resistance s we have to determine so that we are going to substitute in observation table so students i hope this will be helpful to you this is a basic connection of a meter bridge then afterwards we have to simply put the values into our observation table and then we have to use that formula p upon q is equal to r upon s that is very simple to do once we are done with the circuit connection So students, I hope this video will be beneficial for you for doing these experiments. In the next video, we will meet with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.